Boy, this is a very special car. It's a 1962 Ford Thunderbird Roadster. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. We've kind of researched it a little bit while we're sitting here. We often don't have all the information with us, so I go into full checking everything and going over everything. According to the show board here, this is a 62 uh, factory sports roadster. That it is. Frame up restoration, a very nice one at that. Three twos that have been added to the car. They're not part of the original build. It has the uh, original factory invoice, which was probably uh, obtained through Marty Works. Uh, power steering, power brakes, power seats, power windows, push button radio, a lot of those are all factory options on it. We'll have a picture of this at Spud's Garage and a picture of that window sticker. Anyway, these are very nice cars. They were finished, uh, they started building these in September 61 early, like the first few weeks of it. Uh, this particular car's build date is uh, right in the last half of that month. The early cars, we'll get into the door door tag here for a minute and then we'll come back and cover some stuff for you and we'll do finish the cruising around the car door tag here the early production cars uh, were decoded as a 76a um, between a, which was a convertible decode and then later in the year in December they went to the 76b uh, so build dates really important on these cars to decode them um, also Z in the engine code which would have mean it been a, a 300 horse uh, four barrel v8 car this one has tri-power that's been added um, the trim on the car is 56 these cars most generally were built in the rangoon, rangoon red which is data decodes as that and we'll get all that at spud's garage with a black vinyl interior and that's what the 56 is this car has somebody chose to go red red on it these cars are really neat because uh this roadster cap here is actually removable there's a latch on the back side and uh, can come out and then you can have four passengers in here with the top down but the top function much like the early fair lanes that had the uh, retractable hard top that went into the trunk this car has a retractable soft trot top that you uh, turn the key on I, I turn the key on you turn the key on to lower the top all the way into the trunk it's a, it's a power function where the deck lid raises and the top goes in and anyway we videoed that for you keep it simple to explain how it works and we've got pictures of the back seat um, I believe somebody's opted to go red interior in it finished in the Rangoon red optional spotlight up front here we'll step back so you can take a look at it these are cool cars they only build about 1427 of them I believe uh, they are documented. This one's docu documented with its original factory invoice. Um, the, uh, all these cars came with the uh, Kelsey Hayes style wire wheels with uh, knockoff spinners on them. I don't know if those are faux knockoffs or real knockoffs, but uh, also another fun fact with these cars is the roadsters, the sport roadsters, you could not get uh, uh, rear wheel uh, uh, skirts, rear fender skirts on them because they had put the spinner style hubcaps and Kelsey Hayes wheels on them so they did not have skirts on them. Um, also another indicator uh, with this car or this the sports roadsters are the badges, the red, white and blue badges. There's one on each fender and there's one on the roadster top cover in the center. Very nice restoration done on this car. It's a very elegant, good looking Looked like time warp uh, rocket style taking off, get ready to go. But uh, very much uh, a very nice car. These are very rare, again, with 1,427 produced. We'll get back to the office. We'll have all that stuff I just rambled off and the specs at Spud's Garage, a picture of the data tag, that type of thing. You'll see it's a nice frame up style restoration undercarriage very nice they also came with factory dual exhaust um, so they really were a performance based car has a cruise-matic automatic uh, three-speed automatic transmission all the trim and bright work on this car is just beautiful that spotlight over there gives it a little bit of fun you'll see some of the cars in the background that we've done on this trip some low mile cars nice cars open the door here and we'll get you inside they all came equipped with uh, they were pretty much fairly loaded with uh, power windows the tilt away steering column I believe the uh, the roadsters all had this passenger grab handle here match the body color interior color keyed 
there's the other badge I was talking about. Nice OEM style reproduction interior and uh, trim panels on it. You'll get a peek at the back seat back there. It is there. Again, removable. You can leave it at home, put four passengers in this car and go for a cool ride or it's just a two-seat roadster if you like. Again, professional style restoration. Cool car. Door shut nice. Make sure you hang on to the video. If you haven't seen one of these tops work, it's just trick. Goes up and the top comes down. You can put when you put the hard top or the uh, soft top back up. This actually can stay in place, or you can leave it at the house and then have a four passenger convertible. One or the other. Speaking of rocket ships, looks like the afterburners out back here. These birds had the uh, tail fins with the uh, rocket style tail lights on it. Factory Sports Roadster. That it is. We're going to set this down so you can see the quarter panel on it. We're not hiding anything. We'll step back and take a look here. We've already been on this side a little bit, but we're going to hop in there. These cars, once it goes into park, you can you have the tilt-away steering column, so the big folks, uh, or just kind of fun getting in the car, you pull the steering back over to you, like that. Door jam to door jam, nice. Has the uh, push button radio option on it. Never test those. Uh, I may try and get it to crackle for you, but I always count on them not working. They do make, uh, you can send them out to a shop and have them Bluetoothed if you like. 36,157 on the odometer at the time of inspection. Has uh, heat and defrost. Full console here, ashtray. Can't get that with my finger, so uh -huh. one-handed. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up here. Fuel gauges is really low on fuel. It's just now starting to warm up. It has tri power. Clock looks like it's ticking away. Put some headlights on there. High beams are on. Turn them off. I'll try this anyway. Again, there are tube radios. I can't get it to work. Spotlight I have on. Factory powerful steering and power brakes. Like working. All right, let's get you underneath the hood. Like we talked about during the walk around, this is a really nice uh, frame up style restoration. Nicely finished underneath the hood and detailed as factory, equipped as it would have been from the factory. Um, other than the uh, tri-power carburation on this car, this is a Z-code, uh, uh, and I probably talked about it during the walk around, I'm actually doing this before. This is a Z-code 390, which is a 300 horse, it would have come with a four barrel. Somebody's added the M-code carburation onto it, which is uh, actually a fun thing. Could have been done at the dealer at the time, but let's just say it's added after the fact. Could have been done during the, during the restoration, chose to put a tri-power on it. 
Uh, nicely presented. It has a Cruzomatic three-speed automatic in it. Uh, we'll decode the whole tag, or we already have, and uh, we'll have all the specs at Spuds Garage. I think the rear end racks axle ratio is 3.0. You'll see where they've uh, done the uh, OK stickers and the factory style um, inspection markings on the car. The wiring's all nice, that type of thing. So it's show quality underneath the hood along the factory format. You'll see the bottom side of the hood here is finished like the uh, rest of the car and the finish here underneath the hood is the same way so uh, obviously a, a high level style restoration. All right, we just backed it off the lift here it's a little cold. How do we share the top with you? We're going to remove the top for the photo shoot. Take a couple shots here in the shop. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. We'll have still photos of the car with the top up. It is a Roadster model, so it's got a rear deck. Operating the power top. Why it's coming up, I'll share the trunk with you. Full size spare. show you that uh, if you pull the uh, hard cover off there you can run four passengers in here. Here's the hard cover. Again it'll be photographed with the hard cover on. All right got this bird roadster up on the lift here for you. Nice and tidy little bird. Uh, very solid. Ford 9 inch rear differential, which would have been stock. Dual exhaust that ex exits over at the factory location. It's like they put all new brake lines on it during the restaurant. I would call this probably a uh, body up or frame up style restoration. This has just been uh, tidied up a bit. Appears to be solid. We'll go around to the rockers and I'll show you. Uh, I did run a magnet on very many different spots on the pans, so they look good. Factory style exhaust is really tiny. All factory suspension. Drum brakes all the way around. The inner fender aprons are finished a nice gloss black. That's kind of cool. It looks like they've been powder coated. Both sides, you see that. Stock in format. Put on that side. All stock style floor pans from what I can tell. 
These are really kind of a unibody structure on these cars. New fuel tank. Do our little quick little cursory uh, exterior bird's eye view for you. Bias ply tires. You'll see all the uh, pinch points. Pinch weld points along the rocker there. Appears to be original rocker on that side. Again, the fender aprons are shiny. All replated chrome. The grill looks good. Again, fender aprons there. We're going to go along the uh, rocker on this side for you to take a good look. Pretty color.